Hi, this is Phil Chandler with a quick video about an idea I've just had. I just happened to have my camera here in my workshop, so I thought I'd just talk to you about it. Um, the problem I'm trying to solve here is that when you have low entrances in a hive, like I tend to do, because that's what the bees seem to prefer, um, in terms of Varroa, what's happening is that the Varroa are falling from the comb. I haven't got any comb to hand right now, but here's a top bar. And if the Varroa are falling from up here, say, on the comb, they're going to be falling onto bees that are coming into the entrance. And if any bees uh, crawl around on the floor, like they sometimes do, they're going to have Varroa falling down on them. And that gives the Varroa mites the opportunity to get back onto the bees. So a way of preventing that, of course, would be to have entrances high up the side, like these holes I've drilled the over The problem with here. having high entrances is that the heat can escape from the hive very easily and the bees don't like that. So the solution I've come up with, which is very experimental, is to stick with the high entrances but to cover up those entrances with this simple little wooden box. As you can see this is very crude woodwork, it's just four pieces of, um, I think it's uh, 38 mil by 15, something like that, with a piece of plywood nailed on top. Now, as you can see, there's a gap at the bottom there. Um, and what's happened, this arrangement happen. is going to fit over that upper entrance, and that thereby making it a low entrance. And the reason I've got it at the end in this case is because I can very easily put a couple of screws through here um, to hold that box in place. I could, of course, drill straight through here or put brackets on or whatever, but this is just a quick and simple trial. Now, the effect of putting that box there is that, uh, as long as there's a decent seal, the air inside the hive is still going to be kept at its, uh, at its ambient temperature because the air can't simply escape out of the, the top here because of the box front. So it would have to come all the way down here and convect out through this entrance here. So they've, they've still got a low entrance as far as the bees are concerned. They've still got a low entrance. They land on here. This becomes a landing board. And they can then climb up inside this box and get through the holes which are now at the top. Okay. This means that the Varroa would have much sh a shorter distance um, it can fall on them, so much less of the comb is exposed to um, the bees as they come in. Uh, this means that we should, with any luck, uh, help to reduce our varroa infestation this way. Now the other thing about this little box is, um, well two things actually. One is that I think it could be very useful to help bees defend themselves against wasps and hornets, because uh, the wasp and the hornet, while they can get into this bit here, they're going to be confronted by uh, a wa essentially a wall of bees that are going to be walking down, up and down this surface here. And that may deter the hornets and the wasps from actually getting into the hive. That's obviously unproven. Um, but the other thing that I can do with this is, as you can see, I've got a strip here. This stuff is, this is called um, strapping for people who aren't familiar with it. I bought it from my local hardware shop and it's got large holes and small holes. The large holes are around about seven millimeters by my measurement, which means that a bee can get through them quite easily, but a mouse will not be able to get through them. So that's a very cheap and easy mouse guard that will just fit over that slot there. And as you can see, this stuff is uh, its actually galvanized. It looks a bit rough because I've sanded it, but. Uh, it's galvanized steel, it's quite soft, easy to bend, you can bend it with a pair of pliers and you can just make it clip over the box like that and then just clip into place. That's not going to go anywhere um, and hopefully would provide a nice mouse guard at very low cost um, in the winter. And I think if rubbing becomes a problem in your hive that could also be a good way of restricting the entrance quite severely. So. Uh, as I say, this is untested, unproven, but it's an idea that I think has some mileage. Um, and it did also occur to me that something you might be able to do is incorporate a pollen collector in there as well. That's, that will give it uh, three, three completely separate uses, which is 
which would be quite handy. So I hope uh, some of you um, get to play with that idea and uh, maybe even do a better job of it than I have. Um, there's various ways you can do it. This is just one way. Very simple wooden box. You could also use something like a, I don't know, plastic uh, Tupperware style box to do the same job. But I like you to use wood when I can. These are just scraps I had lying around in my workshop. So good luck with that. And uh, anybody that manages to improve on that idea or test it, uh, I'm going to test it myself, of course. But if anybody else does, uh, do let me know on the forum. I'd love to see how it works. This is Phil Chandler signing off.